Welcome to the channel everyone. Uh, today working on the 2500 HD and I'm going to be working on the grill. Um, I picked up a, a Rough Country uh, grill insert that is going to match the insert in my bumper there. So that was one of the reasons that I wanted to go with this uh, 11 uh, 11 to 13 HD grill versus the uh, 07 to, to 10 was because there's a whole lot more options for grill inserts and stuff like that for the newer style grill and actually Rough Country doesn't even offer anything for the the 10 and under HD grill so I needed this grill to match my insert down there so um, obviously I got to pull this thing out and then um, get the, the grill insert out. I'll show you that and yeah, we'll go from there. So here's the, the grill insert and actually I was reading the directions and it looks like you might have to cut the, the grill out. I don't know about that, but um, we'll see. Oh, it's kind of like a, it's got like a stacked grill. This piece here actually goes on top of that piece. It's got the, the Rough Country logo on there. This bottom piece, same way, or I should say the top piece, this, this narrow one goes on the top. It's kind of like a stacked deal. You got a bag of bolts, some mounts, we'll figure it out. Um, I got to get my, my grill out and uh, get it laid out and we'll, we'll figure this out. Okay, so I got my grill off and you guys have seen me do that many times it's a couple bolts some clips um, if you're not familiar with the Chevy stuff it's it's not that difficult to take the the grill off but I've got the bottom insert uh, partially assembled I got the two pieces stacked on each other then you've got some some bolts and these just have nuts behind them uh, the other bolts that are going on here will have mounts that are actually going to screw into the grill, I guess. And I've actually come to the conclusion that I'm going to have to cut this grill out uh, for this grill to work, for, for the mounts they sent to work. And um, I think it's going to look a whole lot better without this grill behind this one. I don't want to do it. I've, I've got a nice paint job on this one, but um, it's not an OEM grill, so I guess it's it's not too heartbreaking. But you have to go in here, and I got to cut these out. I got to leave this border. You, you don't want to cut your border out because that is what this sits on is the the plastic border here. So I'm just cutting the slats out of uh, the grill here and like I said I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that if I'm gonna do a grinder or sawzall thingy or something but when I figure it out I'll show you what I'm doing I guess okay so to cut the, the grill out I'm using this air saw um, it's not gonna be the fastest way to do it but I feel like I have a good amount of control doing it this way
Well, there's no turning back now. Okay, so I've got that bottom one cut out. And uh, the thing is, you do lose stability right here. So just kind of be careful with it until you get your new insert in. Um, that took a lot more time than I thought. I had to go in and kind of sand it down too a little bit. But um, now I got my insert and what I did is I test fitted that in there and they come flat. So what I did is I took this piece and I, I put it on my, my stand and I, I pushed it down so I kind of rounded it out because the grill is not flat. You want that rounded out. So once I, I shaped that insert, uh, it fit a lot better in here. So now that I got everything fit, I'm putting the mounting uh, tabs. Here's one right here. And there are left hand and right hand uh, of these tabs. And they give you a diagram on where they go. But I've got them over here all set out. Uh, these are right hand ones and these are left hand ones. So they're just kind of these mounts here. And they're going to screw into the grill. I got to drill some holes. Uh, we're going to use these screws right here. And then there are longer bolts and there are shorter bolts. And the shorter bolts go where there is no mounting bracket and the longer bolts go where there is a mounting bracket. So I'm going to probably flip this over and I got to get my, my mounts all figured out here and I'll bring you back. Okay, so it's just about ready to get this thing screwed in and these pieces right here in the corner, they got to go too. So you got to get them uh, ground out somehow. Okay, so finally I've got this thing in my grill. Oh, I had to go in and I had to melt a little bit of the plastic uh, trim piece because the bolt on the back side was getting in the way. So I just took my uh, old solder gun that I, that I melt plastic with and I just kind of melted it down. Each corner I did that on, each corner, because uh, it just wasn't, wasn't fitting very well. So now I'm going to take this, I got to flip it over and I got to start securing it uh, from the other side. Okay, so no uh, install footage here guys. I was uh, deep in uh, the install here. This is probably not the way I would ever engineer uh, a grill to be installed. I have, I, I just, I'm at a loss for words here. Um, these brackets here, right here, um, are, are bolted to the grill and then you got to drill into the original grill and, and put these screws on and these are all over uh, the, the insert and I mean that that's I guess that's okay except for you can't drill straight because um, there are a few places you can but there's there's this piece here this piece right here and it just I mean uh, the most important ones these corner ones you really need to be able to drill straight guess what brackets in the way I can't drill straight so um, I mean I got it on uh, I think I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it uh, the way it looks except for these corners actually I think it's that corner right there that I couldn't quite get um, fully seated uh, where I wanted it to be but um, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm dreading the top section now uh, basically I do the same thing as I did here and um, yeah not not a not a very uh, friendly install I'll put it that way but I'm going to get the other top piece done. I'm, I'm just going to do it, guys, and I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, guys, so I got the top piece cut out, and I know I said I was going to come back when it was done, but I took a break, took a breather, 
and um, this is not what I would consider a very easy install and you know custom isn't supposed to be easy um, you know if it was easy everybody did everybody would do it and then would it be custom anymore so um, this has taken me a lot longer than I thought I guess that's kind of why I got a little uh, irritated with it but um, like I said I took a step back I actually removed this bottom piece I curved it some more so make sure you curve these really good so they they contour with the grill uh, like they're supposed to so I got that bottom piece fitting uh, like I want it to so onto the top piece and once you cut out the grill this really has no support whatsoever it just flops in the wind there so be careful with that uh, I the, the other grill actually bolts to that piece with little uh, little bolts I think so I'm gonna get uh, the top piece in I've got it all together got all my mounts and I'm gonna try to get that installed hopefully that'll that'll go smooth now that I got a little bit of a rhythm from the the bottom piece there okay guys so a few more issues on this uh, this top piece um, on the top side top side of the grill uh, you've got all these little uh, bolts that secure it on the top side and those aren't aren't that bad I could kind of eye them and I drilled them out and I attached them you can see where they're attached here uh, that wasn't too bad got that in there then I needed to get these brackets screwed into this part of the grill well there's absolutely no way to get a drill past here so what I ended up doing was marking these holes for the for the brackets taking the, the grill out then drilling into that and, or drilling actually under this kind of at an angle but uh, good enough for it to make this work so that's what I did then uh, once I did that I come to the conclusion that I can't get a screwdriver in here so I ended up using this thing that my dad has had forever never thought I'd actually use it but it's a little Phillips screwdriver it's got a bigger one and a smaller one and it is really tiny and it's a ratcheting one so you're gonna need something like that to get these uh, screws installed and then they didn't send me uh, they, they shorted me one screw so I had to find one of my own uh, oh yeah and another thing that I did to modify the install uh, was on the I did this on the bottom and the top piece see this this mount here I got it angled uh, to the side they wanted that angled this way but I felt say I did it in the same same way here I felt that secured the sides better so that's what I did uh, top and bottom um, so I think that secures the sides a lot better than having nothing basically um, that they had okay so flipping this thing over you can kind of see this is actually pretty cool guys um, I don't know if it's worth all the the work and the hassle but in the end here it's pretty cool it's gonna match my my bumper so um, oh and then I got my Z71 uh, emblem on there I think it looks really good I gotta go on the back side I gotta cut that stud off because I was waiting to figure out what I was doing with my grill so now I know I gotta go cut that stud off and then I get to reinstall under the truck finally so I know what you're thinking with all the work and the struggle that went into that grill well being this is a half inch wrench and we'll break that bolt clean off you gotta ask yourself one question was it worth it
Well, was it punk? Okay, so I got a little carried away, but was it worth it? Heck yeah, guys, check that out. I keep saying it's it's the details that uh, really make the difference. And you can see with the bumper and the grill all matching, Big difference. Well, I'm happy with it, guys. Hopefully, uh, you enjoyed the video. And I guess I'll see you.